Google bot launched a killer feature. I mean, this is not a joke. Whenever you tell people that Google has launched something amazing, people just laugh at your face. This is not one of those things. Google bot has actually launched something amazing and that is not available on ChatGPT. Let me quickly show you what is not available on ChatGPT. I go to ChatGPT and I paste a YouTube link and I say, can you give me the summary of the video? Typically ChatGPT hallucinates a lot, but in this case, it just being very honest AI, it says, oh, I'm unable to access the content from YouTube, which includes the video link you provided. So it's not going to give me any details. And it says, if I can give the brief description, it can give me, thank you ChatGPT, I can do it myself. So ChatGPT cannot do this, but Google bot actually can do this. And I'll show you the example and it is amazing. I went to Google bot and then pasted a YouTube link and then said, can you give me the summary of this video? This is the latest video from MKBHD who I respect a lot, one of the tech YouTubers that I follow a lot. And this video is actually about, and I've seen this video. So I know that Google bot is not hallucinating in this case. And it is talking about CMF watch and the watch costs $69. In fact, it goes into the details about the, the tech reviewer in this case or the YouTube talks about a heart rate monitor, a sleep tracker and music controls. And it says the reviewer was impressed with the watch's battery life. And specifically, specifically in this video, MKBHD actually mentions that the design is similar to Apple Watch Ultra because that is the watch he regularly uses. So this is an amazing feature. I mean, probably this is killing a bunch of startups that were doing chat with YouTube video as a, as a product idea, but this is so good, but it is not 100% good. I mean, this is like anything that you do with LLM, sometimes it blows your mind, but sometimes it just doesn't work. So in this video, I wanted to take you through this journey of when it works, how it works, why it is good and when it doesn't work, let's get started. So the first thing is it's quite simple for you to do it. All you have to do is you need a YouTube video link. And then once you have the YouTube video link, you have to just go here to Google Bard and then ask a question. For example, let me go to this link. This is a very new video. It came eight days ago. It's about Christopher Nolan and uh, Warner Bros video. So I don't know how many of you know his Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan is a very popular um, Hollywood director, Something, somebody I respect a lot for the kind of originality that he brings in, creativity and the storytelling and everything. So this is a video about Christopher Nolan and I'm going to copy this video link and I'm going to go to Google Bard and I'm going to just say, can you give me five point summary about this video? And I just paste the link and uh, it's ideally supposed to check this YouTube video and you can see this particular icon that comes in whenever it is looking for that particular YouTube video. So Google has basically understood the power of ecosystem finally knowing that, hey, I've got access to YouTube and I can do anything with that. And that is exactly what is happening here. The five key points about this video, Christopher Nolan is a British American film director. Seriously, Google bought this is like the first point of the video. Anyways, is known for all these films. Um, what are the details? And uh, he's been praised for his ability to create visually stunning and intellectually stimulating films and it gives me exactly five points and I can like we do with ChatGPT or any LLM we can basically now ask it to do everything that we can you want summary you can get a summary you want a tweet for example you can go here and then say can you give me uh, an announcement tweet based on this so basically your uh, potential is quite endless and that's exactly why I call this a killer feature because now all these videos are available for you and then you can use this and do a lot of things. In fact, one of the very popular videos on my channel before LLM is picked up is YouTube Summarizer project. And a lot of students uh, get this as a project because it's really something that people love. When you have a large YouTube video or a long YouTube video, even the ability to summarize the YouTube video has been one of the biggest, most popular video on this channel and now that is just a single click or a single prompt on Google Bard. It's quite amazing how far we have come in like a couple of years because I think that that is a video I published a couple of years and uh, today it is uh, very easy. And I'm going to show you a couple of more examples. Here you got the tweet. I picked up another video. This is from uh, Sarah Dishi and she says rhymes with PC. She is another quite a popular tech YouTuber like with humor and all those things. Sarah had a recent video talking about burnout and uh, it's time to get my life together. And I pasted that YouTube uh, video and then I said, okay, can you give me a five point summary of this video? And it gave me a really good five point summary. So you can see here like what Sarah is talking about and uh, you know, taking a break, slowing down, canceling unused subscription. So one thing that Sarah talks about in this video, like you don't have to purchase all the things unnecessary you don't have to purchase all the things that is unnecessary. Yeah, correct. So it, it, it does a very good job of summarizing this. 
Now the problem starts when you ask follow-up question. So what is the problem? So I went ahead and then asked, hey Googlebot, uh, can you give me the timestamp for those summaries? And I took the exact timestamp and I went to the video and I tried to find out whether this exact thing was spoken at this time. So first thing I wanted to see if Googlebot is actually hallucinating. I mean, this has been a biggest problem with LLMs because they hallucinate a lot. Now, what is hallucination? When whatever the Google bot or any LLM that tells you, it's not factually correct. And uh, hallucination is not entirely a bug. Sometimes it is a feature because that's how they get the creativity to create new things. But sometimes it is not good because we don't want like creativity. We just want like actual fact. So in this particular case, it didn't hallucinate with whatever it said, like the content, the points that it created for this timestamp is accurate. The problem is the timestamp itself is inaccurate. So for example, if I go to the 320 of this video, I don't get Sarah talking about rental car bill. In fact, like I get the rental car bill somewhere like in four minutes or something. So ordeal, but there you go. Yeah, yeah it just, but see. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's not exactly, but the point is it gave me the content, but it doesn't give me the exact timestamp. So that is one of the biggest disadvantages in this. Like when you start using it, you will start identifying these uh, disadvantages or problems in this approach. One. So the first one we learned is it's not good with timestamps, even though the content is good. The second one is um, how is Google really good at actually taking a YouTube video and uh, doing video to audio, audio to text, text into LLM, Take the LLM as a rag, retrieval augmented reality, uh, retrieval augmented reality, I don't know, retrieval augmented generation, and then give you the output. Like how is Google doing all these things in just one command? Because Google is not doing that. In fact, you would be surprised to know that in just a few lines of Python code, like my very popular video that I mentioned about, in just a few lines of Python code, you can get the transcript of most of the English videos on internet because Google does the transcription for you. That also means the transcription is not 100% accurate sometimes. I'll give you an example. This is a, a recent video from Jerry Rig Everything. So again, I watch Jerry Rig Everything. If you have seen Jerry Rig Everything, please let me know in the comment section. But Jerry Rig Everything recently published a video saying I've been robbed by a multi-million, multi-billion dollar company where they took his designs and then they started selling it on their website. And I've seen this video. So I went to YouTube and I, uh, Google bot and I said, which company is being accused here? And uh, the very first thing is Google says, Casify is being accused of stealing the designs of Jerry Rig Everything's teardown skins. Here, teardown skin is right because that's what they stole. Jerry Rig Everything is right. That's what, from whom they stole. But who stole it? Casify. Now, if you do not have seen this, if you have not seen this video, you might immediately assume that Google Bard has done a tremendous job. I wouldn't say Google Bard has not done a tremendous job, but the problem is the trust factor. Now, it's not Casify, it's Castify. I'll tell you this. So if you go to this particular video, you can see it is Castify. But why does Google Bard say it is Casify when the video clearly says it is Castify? That is primarily because what is Google Bard ultimately doing, at least like what I'm thinking is, they're taking the transcript of this video. Can you see here the transcript? You can see here. So the transcript actually is the transcription or the speech to text of what a Jerry Rig Everything is saying. In fact, Jerry Rig Everything uh, or, uh, you know, this channel creator, whoever it is, being an American, I guess he's an American or probably let's say native English speaker, even then Google has transcribed or YouTube has transcribed this particular case defy as Casify. So what this transcript, or you can see this transcript either by switching on the closed captions, or you can go to this particular place somewhere they used to have a transcript. I don't know where they, yeah, they've got show transcript. Once you click show transcript, you can actually see here, Casify, Casify, Casify. So because this transcript is what going inside Google Bard, I think when you make a query, so it's not necessarily taking everything in real time from YouTube video, which would be also not wise enough for uh, from the computation perspective. But now because this transcript is not accurate, this is what going inside the rag for Google Bard and Google Bard in turn gives you a wrong answer, even though the company is case defect. So the first mistake, the timestamp is not very good. The second mistake, the transcription is what matters. If the transcription is highly accurate, you will get a really accurate answer. 
if the transcription is not accurate you may not get a right answer so this is one thing that you need to keep in mind other than that i think like everything else has been good the only other problem is it does not work all the time so for example uh, i think uh, silicon valley uh, richard getting fired let's say this is a video that was recently okay i'll take this video as an example um this is a scene i don't know if you have seen silicon valley it's a very a satirical ta take on silicon valley which also almost seems like what is happening in silicon valley in the us so i took this video and i said can you give me the summary of this video and um, the last time i tested it did not give me the summary of the video and uh, i wanted to just, just oh yeah so it says i'm sorry but i'm unable to access this content possibly due to number of reasons content is not an invalid link google uh, google bot because i could see the video potentially unsafe but the cap the content does not have a captions file that i can read so now you know if a video does not have the auto generated con caption so if like for example where you go here and then you click this and it says i mean it has caption i don't know for some reason but if you do not have auto generated caption or transcript then you don't get to see the youtube feature so even though google talks about youtube you are not dealing with the youtube video as such you are dealing with the transcript of the youtube video which ultimately you know makes sense to be honest because um computationally this makes sense but that is that is one of the disadvantages of this feature but despite all these flaws that i just pointed out to you i mean these are not really big deals until uh, i mean you you use this exactly for this i truly appreciate this particular feature because this is going to be very very helpful for me like i watch a lot of um, lectures online sometimes sometimes you know i just want to have the text format like forget about um, just looking at the five point summary sometimes i just want the text format i i can go get it on youtube transcript which i do all the time and uh, what i used to do is i used to go to youtube transcript copy the transcript go to chat gpt paste it ask it to give me a summary ask it to make it easier for me to explain so that when i make videos i know how to explain it easily now all these things are just a single prompt which i truly appreciate and i strongly believe this is going to be a killer feature for a lot of people who especially use youtube for learning like if you use youtube for learning this could be extremely helpful i'm not sure how efficient it would be for my videos because one i'm not a native english speaker i've seen closed captions generated by youtube mostly i've seen accurate but also any time you have a channel that has a niche like our channel is an ai channel um, there are you know certain niches like bioscience and all these other things other than this usual productivity and tech stuff these niches have this own acronyms own tech keywords jargons sometimes youtube uh, transcription may not do a good job so i would uh, i would be happy to see what youtube is going to do on that particular front but right now this is like gigo like garbage in garbage out but aside despite all these things i think this is an excellent feature and i strongly believe that this is going to be an amazing feature for a lot of people who primarily use youtube for learning and if you are one of those please let me know in the comment section see you in another video happy prompting